What's up, y'all? Welcome back to episode three of our Kyle's Big Board mini series here, the NFL 2021 season preview. Of course, Big Board, the series, we take a topic, we rank it, and we count it down. Mm. Today, we're looking at the NFC South. I'm here with James Jackson. I'm going to rank. He's going to react. And all in all, we're getting a pretty clear breakdown of the topic. As I said, this is episode three of a mini series. We're doing all eight divisions. So be on the lookout for those. If you're watching it late, go back in our videos and check because all late might be out by now and you guys can get ready for the season. Uh, the question of the day, who's going to win the NFC South? Is it going to be the Buccaneers, the Saints, the Falcons, or the Panthers? I want to see your answers down below. And James, we're going to kick off the video how we've been kicking off all of these. Who's going to win the NFC South? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> the Super Bowl champions led by the greatest quarterback of all time with the best wide receiver duo in the league. Yes, I said it, the best wide receiver duo in the okay. league one of the okay. best defenses in the league i hesitate on saying the best but our, our playoff run speaks for itself and we had to send that man drew Brees into retirement so the only the, the, the division only got weaker the, i see no threat i see no threat in the nfc South. all right if you guys are new to straight facts uh if and if you can't tell from what james just said he's a huge buccaneers fan uh, bucks, if you baby. need to see content of that go check out our past videos <laughs> they won the super bowl literally any video one. There, there's yeah, a spot any in any video. But we're going to kick off the rankings, of course. We start at the bottom. That's at number four. And to me, that's going to be the Carolina Panthers. While they're not going to be the worst number four ranked team in this big board series, they're not going to be the most exciting either. I mean, maybe a fresh start, Sam Darnold can rejuvenate his career. But to me, even if that happens, that means like seven or eight wins at best for this team. They're definitely a team that can get hot and beat a top team on like a single given week. But when it comes to a full season, I just don't think the Panthers are there yet. They were bottom half of the league last season on both sides of the ball, and I haven't seen any reason to believe that won't be the case again. So NFC Southwise, I got the Panthers at number four. I'm surprised you're so down on the Panthers. I'm not saying that they're going to be a good team, but yeah. they, they get it, like you said, maybe a little jump start with getting a new quarterback. They get, to me, the best running back in the league back when, when everyone's healthy and Christian McCaffrey, yeah. the most explosive back in the yeah. league. I mean, the, the little that little battery of, of Sam Darnold, C-Mac, and Robbie Anderson, who knows? But their defense is terrible, but yeah. I, I, I think they're better than the team you probably have slated at number three. Okay. Well, I mean, as I said, I'm not super down on them. I, I, as I don't think they're going to be the worst number four seed in this big board series. Mm. Maybe they'll be one of the better ones, but I just don't see it for them. I don't see a case for them to have a playoff shot, but I guess you can be the third ranked team in your division and not have a playoff. shot. <laughs> right, right, right. And the third ranked team in this division to me is the Atlanta Falcons. Mm. They're the classic, you know, they should be a good team this year, but they've been under 500 <laughs> for the past three seasons. Well, I don't think they will be as bad as last year where they went four and 12. I don't see much more than a potential wild card berth for Atlanta this year. Well, I do think the addition of Kyle Pitts is really going to improve the offense. Um, he could be one of the top rookies of the year this year. Their defense is still pretty bad. I won't be surprised if they finish second in the division or if they finish fourth. I just can't see them winning the NFC South this season. I, the Falcons don't excite me at all. And, and Kyle, really? Pitts, Kyle Pitts is a, is a very really? exciting, maybe the most exciting rookie in the NFL this season. And the Falcons, there's just nothing that, that gets me excited about the Falcons. And it really starts with their quarterback. Like, if yeah. you couldn't u figure out a way to utilize Julio Jones to his capacity for basically the last, like, five years after since every, ever since the Super Bowl, then, like, I don't know what who are you going to do with anybody else. Like, the Falcons just don't excite me. Ridley's, I mean, I think Ridley's fun to watch and Pitts will be fun to watch. They excite me more than the Panthers, I'll say that. Okay. But... We'll move to number two. Um, that's, of course, going to be the Saints. I think number one's pretty locked up at this division, right? Mm -hmm. So the Drew Breesless Saints, that is. It seems like Jameis Winston is going to be the starting quarterback of that team this year. And I'm not going to lie to you. Their receiving core is kind of suspect, to say the least. But Jameis Winston with the suspect receiving core will be entertaining at the <laughs> least. <laughs> of course, I do have them ranked number two in the division, though. And that's for three reasons. One, of course, Alvin Kamara. I think he's probably the most versatile playmaker. You just mentioned Christian McCaffrey's up there in the league. And Kamara's been a model of consistency. I mean, if all is bad, Kamara's still going to find out a way to probably win the Saints two or three games just based off the plays that he does. Two, Sean Payton. Uh, the fact that the Saints' worst record under Payton is 7-9 and nine in like 11 or 12 years now is really impressive to me. And the third and the biggest reason is their defense. I mean, they were top five last season in both passing, rushing defense, and in total points allowed, um, they're bringing back pretty much the same guys on defense. So I expect to see the same result. While I do think they took a step back from last year, I think they're still solidified as the second best team in this division. I mean, 
their defense is going to keep them in a lot of games. Mm-hmm. But but I don't know what they're doing because let's not forget that they gave this man Taysom Hill a four year, hundred sixty million dollar contract. That's a lot of eggs in Taysom Hill's basket, and they don't even know what Taysom Hill is yet. Is, is he our starting quarterback? Is he our utility belt? Like no. what what what's going on? And trust me, man. If you make Jameis Winston your starting quarterback, you can have a really talented team around you, and you won't go seven to nine again. Like I, I've seen it with my own two eyes, and yeah. he don't got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin now. He got O Slant Boy in them, and you mean that I need a very specific quarterback to mm-hmm. deal with them. So I, I just think they're they're too funky over there. Like there's there's no direction anymore now that Drew's going. I think they definitely are. I think we mentioned Taysom Hill. I think one thing, and I mentioned Sean Payton, how I'm not going to bet against him, Mm -hmm. but the situation they got put in last year where Taysom Hill was starting quarterback for a couple weeks and they were finding a way to even win games. I put that a lot on the coaching staff. They played such bad teams in that stretch. Yeah, but it's still the NFL, though. I put a lot of that on the coaching staff, and I trust these guys to get it done at least more than the Falcons and the Panthers. Right. I mean, they have have, have them too. They have too much too much talent around that quarterback position to be below the Falcons yep. and the Panthers for sure. But we'll see, we'll see how far that gets up, but talk about the best team, man. That's all we need yeah. to talk about with this division. Yeah, We'll move the number one, number one team in the NFC South this year, of course, is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the reigning Super Bowl champions. Hey, and they're going into this season as the second favorite to win again. That's behind the chiefs in terms of DraftKings odds. So last season I was a doubter and I'll admit that mm-hmm. they would not have been number one on my season at this time last season. But we're looking at a Saints team who's probably worse than last year and a Bucks team coming in with the most momentum you could possibly have in a Super Bowl title. Not to mention they brought back the same damn team. <laughs> so it's tough for me to see anyone else winning this division, to be honest. I'll even make the statement that this is the team I'm most sure about in the entire big board series that's going to be at the ranking I said they were. I'm, they're going to be the NFC Ch- South champions, no doubt in my mind. That was such a big statement that you made at the end. You're the most sure about this team. It's just all unprecedented stuff, right? Like oldest quarterback to win a Super Bowl, first team to win it at home, first team to bring back all 22 starters after winning a Super Bowl. Like it's just all unprecedented things that we're doing. But I think the thing that we can do this year that's different from last year, like that's that's the hardest part about repeating. It's like how do you how do you do it better than we did last year? We have no reference yep. of that. Is they didn't have a we never preseason last year. We barely had a training camp. So we were figuring all this out on the fly, and then it was a clear spot where we got it all figured out, and and it the pieces started moving. Now that happens sooner and earlier, and and we can only perfect it from then. So I'm I'm just looking forward to it, man. All right, well that is it for today's video. Like I said, this was just one episode, episode three in our eight part series. We're giving you guys every conference in the NFL helping you prepare for the 2021 season. So make sure you check out the other videos if you haven't. And if you're catching it early, there's still more to come. Hit that subscribe button. Get those notifications to keep you guys up to date. Mm-hmm. This, of course, was fun, James. Thanks for tagging along. Yes, I hope everyone is getting buckets. We'll see you next time.